Hi, this is Dr. David Wade. Wanted to let you know that we're COVID ready, prepared to handle most any problem that you might have in our office. But I wanted to talk to you now about some of the most common injuries after a car accident. Whether you're driving to work or taking a big family vacation, any type of unexpected car accident can cause painful injuries that may impact you for months and years to come. The weight of your vehicle combined with your speed can create tremendous amounts of force that during an auto accident, that force gets transferred directly to your body. Even low speed collisions can create enough force that can cause serious injuries. Now seat belts save lives, millions of lives every year and should be used every time you enter a vehicle. But what you may not know is that they can also contribute to different types of injuries, uh, you know, based upon the, the restraining of your body and the twisting that goes on. And sometimes holding uh, pressure on your back as you're whipped forward and backwards into your seat. Um, the sudden stop or change in direction that often occurs during a car accident can place just a tremendous amount of force on your chest, your unsecured arms and legs, and you can strike inside the vehicle. And there's a few common injuries that we see during a car accident. The first one is head injuries. Striking your head against the steering wheel, the dashboard, the window can result in severe injury like a concussion which is considered to be a mild traumatic brain injury. Also, sometimes just the head moving back and forth rapidly allows the brain to push back and hit against some of the sharp inner confines of the skull, which can also cause mild traumatic brain injury. Many times after an accident like this, uh, you'll, you, you may or may not even be knocked out, but you might be dazed or woozy headed, uh, fuzzy thinking, uh, those are indications that you could very well have uh, a, a closed head injury, what we call a mild traumatic brain injury. There are checklists of information that we do that we look at to determine if that might be a problem with you. As you may know, uh, maybe listening to some of the uh, chronic pain and problems that are associated with football players and you know all the changes they've made in the rules to prevent head injuries to players, and the reason is, is because it creates permanent damage and ongoing reoccurring chronic pain for somebody that's gone through that type of injury. The other type of injury is spinal injuries. The competing forces that it, you're experiencing during this car accident can result in spinal injuries like ligamentous instability, excessive motion because of tearing of the ligaments, um, whiplash, and even herniated discs. Um, you can also have arm or leg injuries or injuries to your shoulder, especially if you're holding onto the uh, steering wheel. We also see people with jaw problems, wrist problems, ankle problems, and knee problems, especially if they hit the door or the dashboard, and they're really common during a car accident. So when we have a patient that's been involved in an auto accident, we do a very detailed history of any type of problems or injuries that they may have. And if you're in a car accident, regardless of whether it's a major one or a minor one, it's really important to seek out medical attention. My recommendation is to go to the emergency room, make sure that you don't have anything cut or bleeding on the inside. Many times uh, a, a, an internal hemorrhage of the brain can be comp comprehensive and very progressive and, and can lead to some serious complications. So it's important that you have that checked out as soon as possible. Most of the time when you have this type of injury, they're gonna do a CAT scan in the hospital. Um, as you leave, it would be prudent for you to get copies of any of your images because typically you're gonna end up going to see somebody else. Um, most of the time people go to their primary care doctor. To be quite honest with you though, they're not appropriately equipped to handle uh, whiplash types of injuries. Your best bet is to get to a chiropractor. Now, I've got an advanced certification in spine trauma and primary spine care and sports rehabilitation. So we have all of the bases covered for evaluating and managing problems. And even if we had to order MRIs or more advanced neurological testing, I'll refer you to neurologists or pain management or 
uh, for epidurals or for neurosurgery um, in whatever appropriate case, we are qualified to be able to handle all that and to actually take you and route you to wherever is necessary so that you get the appropriate care and the treatment that's needed to be able to adequately imp improve the best you can. The key in my mind is appropriately understanding what the problems are so that you can appropriately go forward and get the appropriate treatment to minimize lingering chronic pain problems. So make a mental note right now to make it a priority to know that we're always here to help you. And if you have any questions, or if you've recently experienced an auto accident yourself, or maybe somebody in your family or somebody you know, reach out to them and let them know that we're here at Aniston Chiropractic at 3001 McClellan Boulevard, just one block south of Dad's Barbecue in Aniston, uh, right off of North Quintard and 30th Street. And we're here to be able to reach out and help you and do what we can to help you feel better as quickly as possible. Uh, this is Dr. David Wade wishing you good health for a lifetime.